In this section, we want to talk about the CAM plants. Now, in the previous sections, we talked about photorespiration and the C3 and C4 plants. So these CAM plants, this is another variation on this process of photosynthesis. And the word CAM stands for crassulation acid metabolism. Now, the part we're really concerned with here is the acid metabolism part. The crassulation that just refers to a uh, family of cacti, and that family name is Crassulaceae. That's, so that's where the name comes from. Uh, but these cam plants are mainly desert plants, and they account for about 2% of all plant species. And one of the characteristics that these cam plants have is that they are very slow growing. So in the environment where they grow, they don't have to compete with other things like kudzu and Bermuda grass. So they can get away with being slow growing. What they have to do is they have to survive in that very dry, hostile environment. So there's an example of a cam plant right there, this prickly pear cactus. So slow growing but able to survive in that dry desert environment. Okay, the cam plants have a unique feature that allows them to uh, survive in this desert environment. And that is the way the stomata work is completely opposite of the way the stomata work in most other plants, in, in uh, the C3 and C4 plants. So in these cam plants, the stomata are open at night and closed during the day. And this does a lot to reduce water loss. Recall that most plants, all your C3 and C4 plants, have the stomata open during the day, closed at night, and when the stomata are open during the day, it allows carbon dioxide to be taken up during the day while photosynthesis is occurring. Okay, so here's our cross-section of a leaf, and if we just take a quick look at this, the A stoma is this opening down here in the uh, epidermis of the, of the leaf, and by those guard cells on either side of that stoma can open and close the stoma. And so in all the C3 and C4 plants, so the stoma is open during the day, allowing carbon dioxide to enter, also allowing a tremendous amount of water vapor to uh, be lost from that plant. What happens with the, C with the CAM plants is that we reverse that and the stoma are open at night which greatly reduces water loss and remember where these cam plants live they live in a desert environment okay the cam plants the cam plants have a problem and that is that they have to have carbon dioxide during the day for photosynthesis just like any other plant it's daytime is when the light is striking the plant that's when the light energy is available and so it's going to have to have carbon dioxide then. The solution to this is that these cam plants take up uh, CO2 at night and they're just going to store that CO2 as a four carbon acid. Then during the daytime the uh, four carbon acid breaks down to a three carbon acid plus carbon dioxide and thus that makes carbon dioxide available for photosynthesis during the daylight hours. Now these cam plants use the same mechanisms and the same compounds as the C4 plant except we, do, we don't have this 4 carbon acid uh, conveyed from one cell to another. Instead the 4 carbon acid just accumulates at night and then it decreases during the daytime. So if we look at this, this next diagram right here notice the way this is going to work. During the daytime the stomata are closed, or this this stoma, the stomata or this stoma is closed. Okay, now then at night what we're going to see is that the stoma is open right there. Okay, and what will happen at night is that uh, carbon dioxide will be taken up this will form this malate or ultimately malic acid right here will accumulate and build up in the vacuole of the cell during the daytime 
that malic acid will release carbon dioxide and that carbon dioxide will then be used to make the sugars right here okay, through the process of photosynthesis. Okay, so if we would if we would measure the pH on uh, one, on one of these cam plants, what we would find is that through the course of the night, the uh, that the cells of that plant would become more and more acidic. During the course of the day, they would become less acidic. Okay, okay. so here's our summary chart for C3, C4, and CAM plants. Notice we've got the light dependent reaction and Calvin cycle. Okay, so in C3 plants, these two processes occur in the same cell. In C4 plants, those processes occur in different cells. So by occurring in different cells, we're separating the process that produces uh, oxygen from the process where oxygen is going to pose a problem. Okay, CAM plants operates like C3 in this regard. The, uh, we're still going to have oxygen production in the same place where the oxygen is going to pose a problem. Uh, carbon dioxide is fixed into a, into a four carbon acid. No, not here. Carbon dioxide is going to enter directly into the Calvin cycle in the C3 plants. But yes, in both the C4 and CAM plants carbon dioxide will be first fixed into a four carbon acid. Then when does carbon, carbon dioxide fixation occur and when does the Calvin cycle occur? C3 plant and C4 plant carbon dioxide fixation and Calvin cycle both occur during the daytime. In the CAM plant we have these two events separated. Okay. Photorespiration will readily occur in the C3 plants it does not occur in the C4 plants, but we still have photorespiration in these CAM plants. Number of ATP needed to produce one glucose? Well, the uh, C3 plants can do this with only 18 ATP, but both C4 and the CAM plants need 30 ATP. So, basically the CAM plants wind up with every type of inefficiency found in these other plants. They require more uh, ATP to make a glucose than, uh, than what we require here in the uh, C3 plants. They are susceptible to photorespiration just like what we have in the C3 plants but the CAM plants Still, they do not have to compete with other plants. They are growing in that desert environment. And so what they have to do is to survive that desert environment. So once again, it's all a matter of adaptation. If we ask the question, which one is best? It depends on the environment. Under cool, moist conditions, the C3 plants are best. Under hot conditions, not desert hot, not desert dry, but just Mississippi summertime hot conditions. The uh, C4 plants are best. In that desert environment, these CAM plants are best. So it's all a matter of adaptation. Well, thank you.